Hi everyone, this is Paul here with a report on the full moon in Virgo on Sunday the 12th of March at 2.53pm Universal Time. This full moon is calling to balance the energies of Pisces and Virgo. Um, Pisces is where the sun is at the moment and we've got a key theme that's been happening since the sun's movement into Pisces back in February of tapping into universal love, you know, cosmic love, divinity, call it what you will. Also, understanding who we are at a deeper emotional level um, from the heart. So, by tapping into universal love, developing greater compassion, empathy, and, and standing for one another, the old cliche that um, we're all one, which is true, but most of us clearly don't really believe that based on what we see around us. Um, but this Pisces is a sign that helps us to realise that at a deep level through having to dissolve the barriers of the ego which keeps us separated from one another. Now, obviously don't destroy the ego, otherwise we wouldn't be able to function in the world, we'd just be a dreamer doing that, doing nothing. And the ego is a necessary component in order to keep us grounded and able to interact with the world around us. But with Pisces, the barrier of the ego gets dissolved slightly so that the universal love can permeate our being and help us to more deeply realise how interconnected um, we are with one another, not just at the mental level the way Aquarius does, but this time at a heart level. So we see someone and we see them as another version of ourselves, not in an egotistic way, but we acknowledge the divinity in them in the same way that we acknowledge the divinity within ourselves. But one thing to bear in mind with Pisces is, as well as these heightened states of consciousness, Pisces also deals with issues like escapism, denial, addiction, codependency. So these are all areas that we can fall foul of if we drift into the shadow side of Pisces. And we do plenty of uh, meditation to know ourselves at a deep level and to recognise where all programming undermines us, then these sorts of pitfalls um, can be avoided to some extent. But with the sun in Pisces, um, the light of the sun really illuminates these, um, if we're not careful, we can end up overdoing some of the shadow sides instead of the higher side of Pisces. So this is where the moon in Virgo um, comes to the fore here. Virgo is the opposite sign to Pisces, and Pisces is um, generally chaos, but that's chaos to dissolve old orders of things in order to make the renewal um, of everything possible. If the old isn't um, dissolved, then the new can't form from um, the essence of what was there before. Virgo, on the other hand, is order, so it's using participation to create new order out of um, chaos. So if we allow Pisces to dissolve the old structures, we need Virgo to build new ones with the sense of discipline, responsibility and work ethic that comes with Virgo. And it's also, Virgo allows us to be more discerning to use discrimination, not in the negative sense that we usually hear the word, but by the discrimination here, what I mean is sorting out what is actually um, good um, for us and um, is positive, and what do we need to avoid because it's not um, good for us. So, with Pisces, the emphasis of universal love is obviously a good thing, but it can also dissolve our um, boundaries with people, so we may be more susceptible to manipulation, um, to people's um, deception and illusion. But also, we need to be careful that we're not also engaging in those things towards other people. Virgo's discernment helps us to figure out, okay, who, who can we actually genuinely trust? Who can we share our universal love with without any worries about them taking advantage of it? And who may need universal love but we need to be careful around them because they're more than likely going to use the energy for their own gain and at our own personal cost. It's one thing to show universal love and compassion towards others, it's quite another to allow ourselves to be drained by another person's constant claiming of our um, energy that we're um, giving to them. So Virgo's boundaries are very important here and it sometimes when we have to assert our boundaries we do have to risk upsetting people, especially if they're used to us being something like a doormat and just giving things without question. Sometimes it's necessary to set a harder line with someone if they're not 
prepared to respect um, who we are and keep trying to take advantage of everything. So Virgo brings in a sense of discipline, a sense of asserting our boundaries so that we can be loving and compassionate towards others and we can deliver a strong service to others but we don't become a pawn in someone else's game, we don't become used and abused by that person. Now, another element to take into mind during this particular um, full moon is Chiron in Pisces. The sun is almost smack bang on top of Chiron, so Chiron here is pointing to the wound um, of disconnection from source and all the afflictions that tend to come as a result of this. But if you look at the nature of addiction, the main thing that everyone's trying to seek through addictive um, issues, whether it's codependency, drugs, alcohol, excessive um, unhealthy foods, um, is they, each one generates an altered state to consciousness which makes us feel better in the short term, but because they're substitutes for the power of source, they have their own drawbacks and there's an inevitable come down afterwards which, because um, at the end of the day, no substitute um, for divine spirit will ever be able to achieve the um, same effect as the real thing. Because we all want to feel our spiritual nature at a deep level, but if we don't believe in spirituality or anything like that because for whatever reason being conditioned to ignore it and let's face it society is very good at conditioning people to ignore that side of um, who they are then people will inevitably find other ways to try and achieve the same feeling of connection of love of compassion towards one another and this is where substances may give us that feeling initially but our bodies obviously de develop a tolerance to it because it's not natural for the body to be ingesting these sorts of substances or be subjected to codependent relationships and it takes more and more of a hit each time for us to get the same effect. So Virgo may help us to become more health conscious because that's one thing with Virgo and Pisces, it's the health axis of the zodiac. Virgo deals with the physical and the mental side of our health Pisces, the emotional and the spiritual um, health. And when the two are balanced, we have a complete unity of body, mind and spirit, and we're at our peak health. So one thing we may um, find helpful is reflecting on the state of our health. Are we actually ingesting anything like um, really sugary food out of habits to try and feel or not take the edge off emotions or anxiety? or are we learning to use meditation to achieve that same feeling of connectedness, that same feeling of love and, and compassion towards others without needing to take on a substitute first before we can feel that effect. And with Mercury also in Pisces, around, hovering around this, clip, this particular full moon, sorry, it may help us to intellectually understand what wound maybe underneath our needs to take on addictive substances like sugar, alcohol, um, drugs, codependent relationships where we may think we're in love but we're actually getting high off the other person's energy which obviously doesn't last if both people are disconnected from source because it eventually devolves into a power struggle. So it's time to use Virgo's energy of discernment to figure out are the relationships we're in healthy or we're using them as a substitute for our own personal connection and our own personal sense of inner security that comes from a divine connection? Um, do we, are we neglecting our own boundaries that keep us um, protected from the manipulations of other people or do we just allow them to dissolve willy-nilly and then become particularly vulnerable to other people's manipulations, whether that be through guilt tripping, through their own lies and deceit, or anything like that. There are things to bear in mind. Um, but another key area with Pisces that we can really tap into is self-love. Because if we can learn to love ourselves, that love fills us up constantly, and eventually we have so much love inside us that it can't help but overflow out of our systems and help the people around us. This is where truly powerful love um, can be formed because it's one thing to love another person for what they give to us but if we can love ourselves enough that we don't need another person 
the love will just keep building up inside of us until it just overflows into our surrounding environment and anyone around us will feel an instant hit of that energy without needing to control us or without us feeling drained because we're being topped up with um, love from our internal connection to divinity and Virgo can help us maintain the necessary boundaries to help us avoid being manipulated whilst we're developing that self-love to the point where we don't need another person's love to feel validated we have our own source from within but we can then channel that passion love out through acts of service which Virgo is very good at Virgo and identify how to produce a service which is going to help another person but Pisces often creates that sense of compassion or empathy towards another person the motivator to take that action in the first place but the key is to really focus on self-love first and then once we're topped up with that use the discriminating energy of Virgo to use the people to help out the people who are going to um, best benefit from the help that we can have to offer so how it's a useful gauge of what this full moon is going to be about and we can use it to break free of old wounds based on disconnection and we can feel, feel our own connection to divinity to heal that wound. So take care and may the full moon bring many blessings.